Hello, what's up, YouTubers? It's Daniel Dylan 9 and as you can see, I'm playing H1Z1, kind of. Um, they've had a bunch of issues. Um, I believe it's G99 or something, Erico G99, it's G something. Um, and it could mean that it's something with you, but it almost since it's at uh, launch or release or whatever you really want to call it, it's not your fault. Uh, but later on, down the road, if that's happening, you might want to check your um, firewalls. Now, nothing too interesting here. It won't let me join any of the servers. They might have took them off. But as we can see here, we can just look at a couple of the things that are part of the game, and I'll be explaining some of the game. And um, this should be the beginning of a video of me actually playing the game. I might go to sleep because it's like 12, and I'll wake up in the morning and see if the servers are up. So... They have 200 servers, and each server can hold 2,000 people, um, but they limited it to 200. So, yeah, they weren't expecting so many people to buy the game, but that's okay. I, I wanted to buy it at 1, and they had issues getting all of that done, so it finally came out at 6 for me. And uh, I bought it, and then all these server issues. A lot of people couldn't even get to the logging in screen. I could at least do that, but it wouldn't even let me join any server. I believe a good, uh, I don't know, maybe a couple thousand people played. I know of at least uh, uh, 25. But um, I'll just explain a couple things about the game, and uh, I'm going to try to keep this brief so most of the video is just me actually playing the game when it completely and fully comes out. Um, but, let's see, oh yeah, so, the cool thing is, is it kind of, like, sound kind of reflects off your surroundings. So, when you're in a tunnel, or a building, and you shoot a gun, it's gonna echo a little bit more. Um, I don't know if they're gonna do that same thing with, like, canyons, if there is gonna be canyons, or valleys, whatever you really wanna call it. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty cool, I haven't really seen too many games do that. And the concept art, like right here, as a matter of fact, I'll try joining it. No, no. But uh, the concept art always looks good for games like Diablo Cinematics. The, the normal game looks pretty good, but um, actually it looks really good. But I don't know, just being so far back kind of takes away from the immersion into the game. Um, but I guess more what would make sense is World of Warcraft Cinematics. You know, how they're amazing for their games. Um, and then the game just, eh, meh. Looks alright. <laughs> um, but yeah, the game the game kind of does fit in with all of this. The rain looks a little choppy right now. It kind of looks like Mountain Blade Rain, which is a five-year-old game. So hopefully they fix that, but they said all of this is just placeholder. Um, I don't know how many weapons they have so far, but I believe that... Um, uh, I believe that they have around five or ten. I know that they have the bow... They have a shotgun, I believe. I know that they have a pistol. They have, um, well, I guess, did I say weapons or guns? Because guns, they probably only have somewhere between five to seven. Weapons, I, I've seen um, a machete, seen the hatchet. If you want to count the torch as a melee weapon, sure. Because um, you'd set people on fire. They have at least, I th actually think that they have three vehicles, but they have at least two. Um, I think they have a jeep, a truck, and a police car. Um, as you can see, that there's going to be different rules for each server, and um, they count this as an MMO, so I don't believe that you're going to be able to ever have a private server. Um, it is made on the PlanetSide 2 engine, if you were ever wondering, and um, it's mostly meant about building. Of course, it's better to play with friends. But yeah, so there's going to be PvP, there's going to be PvE only, Headshots only only count for zombies, so you don't have to worry about players. Um, recipe wipes, um, you're going to be collecting and learning recipes along your way, so that kind of wipes it. Um, I believe that you can go back to your old server, and you'll still have all of your recipes. It's kind of like some servers, you know, like if you play Daisy, there's Private Hive and, you know, um, non-Private Hive, I forgot what they call them. Um... But the private hive, you kind of have all your gear there, and every single time you go on that one, you have your same gear. But if you go to a different private hive, you don't have your gear. But um, non-private hive, you can transfer your gear from each one. So other, I don't know how gear is going to work, but recipes are going to kind of work like that. Battle Royales, you can earn stuff for your account inventory. Um, 
maybe cosmetic stuff. There's the crates. I'll explain the crates to you guys before I end this. First person only, you guys know what that is. Um, the kind of one, I, I don't know if they're going to do a community market, but it is pretty much exactly like Team Fortress 2 and Counter-Strike's crates and keys thing. Um, Team Fortress 2 doesn't have crates, I don't think so. Maybe. I don't know. I didn't really play too much Team Fortress 2. I did play Counter-Strike. <clears throat> I know my loss. Um, <laughs> but it, it's like the, um, the keys are $2.50, um, 250 station cash. Uh, and it takes one key to open a crate, and you'll earn crates just from playing. Over time, you'll earn them. Uh, there's probably other ways you can get them. And then you open them up, and you get cosmetic stuff. Like, if you have the AK, it'll be blue. Now, just because you have this blue skin for the AK doesn't mean that you automatically have an AK. No, now you have to find the AK and then put the blue skin on it. Um, one thing that you're probably wondering is, if I die, do I still get to keep my cosmetic item? I'm pretty sure not. Um, there might be a possibility that it does, but uh, eh, whatever. And um, there will be a bunch of cosmetic items like that. There will probably be things just for your character. And uh, I bought the most expensive edition because why not? <laughs> um, so I'll show you guys the aviator cap. What else? What else can I explain to you guys? I don't know. I had a bunch of different stuff I wanted to talk about. If you guys have any questions at all, go ahead and uh, put them into the comments. Like I said, I'm kind of just rambling on. Sorry, this is a pretty boring screen right here. Um, oh yeah, pay to win. Is this game pay to win? Definitely not. Um, people are thinking that it's pay to win because you can airdrop in a gun instantaneously. You buy it and you airdrop in a gun. Now, that completely sounds like pay to win, especially when it can be so hard to find a weapon. Uh, but anybody can steal from your airdrop. Do not think that... So, yeah, so you're buying something and somebody else can literally jack it from you. So, I guess it's pay to win if you can make it there in time. But then again, you probably wouldn't order in a bunch of guns if you already had a bunch of guns. So you're going to try to defend and get to your package with no guns. So, I don't really count that as pay to win. Um... They're, they said that they might have a couple weapons that you get to keep through death, and that would definitely be pay to win, but there's definitely going to be different servers for that. So, pay to win servers, I guess. Um, I, I don't really mind that. I mean, at least you can choose what you want to do. Um, the battle royales, like I said, you can earn cosmetic items and other things like that that you can take into other servers. I believe every server every server does have your account inventory, but I believe that they all do kind of react with each other. I believe that you share inventory from server to server to server, but I'm not for sure. There's probably a couple different private hives. Um, well, not private hives, but, you know, servers that are have their own loot and all that uh, that they have. Because, like I said, I don't believe that you're ever going to be able to have your own server. Um, as for how big the map is, uh, I read a post, it's four times the size of DayZ, and I believe DayZ was, I, I don't know, but it, I heard it was four times the size of DayZ, and 2,000 players on one server is a little bit too much, so they should really buy smaller servers, um, the 50 people wouldn't work like the average on DayZ, but since four times the size, four times 50, 200 it um and um so yeah 200 people on each server and don't even let them run at like a thousand people um and just buy more servers because it's going to be an issue with having too many people it's going to be an issue with not enough servers as you can see i think they took all the servers down because <laughs> i don't know what region text field is i haven't been there recently and population text field yeah <laughs> um but you know so I, I hope that you guys don't have too many issues with it. Um, with early access games, usually there's a lot of bugs and issues, and there is going to be when I play the game. But it's kind of weird because at least I get to try the shitty game out. You know, this one it won't even let me try. But no, I had this um, trouble speaking of Diablo 3, with Diablo 3 um, on launch, and kind of even with Warlords of Draenor. Um, I didn't because I play on low pop, but whatever. Actually, I don't even play those games anymore. Um, um, what else could I throw in there? <sighs> yeah, the, well, you know, 
I don't, this is kind of their own section of SOE, so Sony Online Entertainment, and plus they've been through a lot, there was uh, the Lizard Squad, um, there was the other hacking, I believe it was from North Korea, I don't know, um, and all that stuff. So they've been through a lot, but this is their own section, so we're going to see them go their own way. You don't know if they're going to go into the rest of like how Sony Online Entertainment works, um, which a lot of people don't like, but I, I don't see Planet Side 2 as pay to win. Yes, you can get your favorite weapon by buying it, but all the weapons are kind of similar, other than, um, I guess I'd say the rocket launchers and then some of the attachments for vehicles, but still vehicles you have to wait for, and rocket launchers you don't just have 99 ammo of. Um, so, you know, and plus the Planet Side 2 engine, and um, these developers seem really, really into fixing something that was broken, aka Daisy standalone. Because um, Daisy the mod is amazing, but it kind of went its own way. Especially, okay, Daisy standalone's bad. They, they're just not working on it enough. It, it really disappoints me. Not about the concept, but about the people that is working on it. But then again, I can't be angry at them because Daisy is one of my favorite multiplayer games of all time, and uh, the mod, and they kind of gave it to the community, and the community's done a great job with it. But I also kind of miss old Daisy. Don't get me wrong; I like building bases, and I do want that a game mode. But sometimes I kind of just miss meeting a bunch of people that aren't hung up in a <laughs> building that they built that they know everything about it, and I can't get into it. Sometimes I like seeing the three people on the road and actually getting those kills and feeling satisfied because when you're in your own bunker, you know, you can't do that. Or when you're finding somebody's car that they hid. I don't know if you guys remember Old Daisy, but they used to hide cars and tents and all that. And whenever you'd find one, you'd have so much loot and even your own vehicle. And you'd be like, yes, I just jacked somebody's crap. Or when you would get off and get back on and your stuff would be jacked and you'd be like, I'm done. <laughs> suicide um, but no no you, you know it it was it was a bunch of fun moments so I'd like to see a little bit of both servers literally some servers with no building on it um, but you never know I still do want building and I'm still gonna do that a lot that's one of my favorite things to hoard weapons and give them out to new players um, I'm gonna attempt to be friendly on this game but if I die ten times without meeting one person that um, doesn't kill me then I'm gonna be a bandit, and uh, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna attempt to kind of do my videos like Frankie. I'm not gonna do the transitions and all that because Frankie on 1080p PC, you know, and all that. He's a great guy. Go check him out. Doesn't really need somebody like me to broadcast him, but yeah, definitely go check him out. But um, me personally, um, I'm like I said, I'm gonna attempt to shoot kind of like that. Only interesting moments, other than uh, my first 10 or 15 minutes. This isn't <laughs> interesting at all. So kind of being a hypocrite but um so yeah so that's how I'm gonna shoot that uh I'm gonna be bandits on some days so even if I am mostly friendly sometimes you guys just like to see the really actiony parts and Frankie has to run for like eight hours to get into action because of how friendly it is um so because I don't have that much time I'm working on my own video game and um, he has a job too, so don't get me don't 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 get him wrong or me wrong. He does have a job and he does do a lot of other things. It's just um my time's broken up, so yeah. <clears throat> but uh, I've been rambling on for way too long, probably like 10, 15 minutes, and I wanted to save most of this video. I might even do this as a separate video. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I guess I'll see you in the next part if I do edit this. If not, then I'll see you in the next video. Alrighty, I'll see you guys later. Bye.